What's up, fam? This your boy, Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to share this video. I got some news for you Negroes today. FBG Duck footage shows old block member C Thang standing over him, putting the hot ones in his body as he's begging and pleading. And the moment that news hit the internet, everybody's acting shocked. Everybody's acting flabbergasted. They can't seem to fathom why anyone would commit such a heinous act in broad daylight. I'm not one of those people. I knew how bad they wanted Duck. I knew he was a big fish. Now, a lot of people say FBG Duck died because he made the disrespectful song, Dead Bees. The moment he released that song, he was a dead man watch walking. I beg to differ. I don't think that's the reason FBG Duck is dead. I think they took out FBG Duck because he was the only opposition making noise in the music industry. He was the only one that had a presence in the music industry. He was turning up. He had the record slide. He was very disrespectful on records. And they looked at him as King Op. They said, if we take out FBG Duck, the rest of the Ops don't stand a chance. And the plan worked. They took out FBG Duck. It turned King Yellow into a blogger. It turned FYBJ Main into a blogger. Lil J went and got a boyfriend in prison. What the hell is going on? So that's why O Block took him out. That's why they were so desperate. Now, a lot of people say, why would you stand over somebody if he's already on the ground if he's already squirming like a fish do you really have to stand over him to finish him off and my answer is yes if it's a pay hit you there to do one job you there to make sure fbg duck doesn't walk out alive now i must admit fbg duck is a strong person he was shot 16 times and on the footage he's still rolling around he's still trying to sit up it seemed like he's still trying to get up and fight but unfortunately, the paramedics took too long and he lost his life. But that's the reason why Oblock took him out. Now, they also said FBG Duck motive was TZ dropped his location because he was jealous of FBG Duck. FBG Duck was smashing his baby mom. He was around his kids. And a lot of people were like, dang, that's why FBG Duck died over a jealous boyfriend? That's why the Oblock member slid on him? All because he was screwing somebody's baby mama. The baby daddy ran into FBG Duck. He started calling around. Hey, Duck is up here. Duck is up here. He was so frantic about Duck being up there. He was so um, extra about it that a security guard seen him in a storm. Like, man, what this nigga on? This nigga too excited. He bringing too much commotion. Let me start recording him. And they got him on recording trying to get D-Thang number. That's little Dirk brother. So that's why FBG Duck was taken out. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, where do Lil Dirk play a role in it? Why is everybody saying Lil Dirk is going to get hit with the Rico? They didn't call Lil Dirk. I'm going to tell you guys like this. It is rumored that King Von dropped $100,000 on FBG Duck head. Who is King Von signed to? Lil Dirk. And then the feds say they got audio recorders of TZ asking for D Thang number. That's Lil Dirk's brother. So Lil Dirk is heavily tied into this FBG Duck case. I'm sorry to say. And then the moment FBG Duck died, he created a song called Shoulda Duck where he is dissing FBG Duck. Blatantly. Even recruited Memphis rapper Pooh Shicey to engage in the dissing. Now this is what I'm going to say about Lil Dirk. Everybody is saying there's going to be a GD versus BD Rico. I agree. It has to be a Rico. Too many people died. Too many disses. Too much money getting passed around to do hits. And guess who's in the middle of that? Lil Dirt. Now we can't really say Cheeky because Cheeky got the hell away from O Block. Cheeky ain't beefing. He laying low. And that's what Lil Dirt should have did. But nope, he want to diss people on records. He want to talk about beef. He want to be brazed about it. So I, I agree. He's going to be tied up in this Rico. Lil Dirk is going down because I look at it like this. If you're doing a Rico on GDs versus BDs, who is the king BD right now? That's Lil Dirk. Now, if you're doing a GD Rico, that means you got to potentially hit Rugal with a Rico, Lil J, maybe King Yellow. I'm just saying, but it was like King Yellow putting in nowhere. He a blogger like me. He running his damn mouth on the internet. So I don't know about that. And also, let's remember, the feds label Lil Durk a high-ranking BD, a black disciple gang leader. So he's definitely going down. And this is one thing I'm going to say about being a gang leader. It's good when you run in the streets. It's good when you got the glory, when people is fearing you, when you got notoriety. But the moment a Rico come, the moment a big indictment come, you gonna get blamed for everything. Everybody gonna testify against you. Everybody gonna say this. Everybody gonna say that to get a lighter sentence. So I think that's what's gonna happen to Lil Dirt. Whenever this Rico comes down the pike, 
everybody's gonna turn on Lil Dirk to get a lighter sentence. You see how they did Young, young Thug? Everybody took two year pleas, 10 year pleas, eight year pleas. Meanwhile, they trying to throw the book at Young Thug. Meanwhile, they saying Young Thug put fear in people. Young Thug will put people on pay hits. Everything they accuse Young Thug of doing, they can easily accuse Lil Durk of doing the same thing. So that's why I think he gonna meet the same fate. Now, do I wish it? I don't wish jail on nobody. But sometimes you gotta play, pay for your actions. Sometimes you gotta be held accountable for the things you do. Now, I get this is street wars. That's the way the streets operate. Dirk was just getting it back in blood. I hear all that. But the moment the indictment come, everybody's gonna switch ain't nobody sticking to the street code the only people that stick to the street code is squares on the internet i'm sorry to say y'all believe in the street code more than gangsta i ain't never heard a real gangster talk about the street code they know it don't exist they know it's every man for itself but it's just people on the internet hey man that's the street code man no snitching yeah right if you doing looking at 40 years your baby mama on the phone telling you to snitch you talking to your eight-year-old daughter Granny getting old, she wants you out. Daddy got a bad hip, he on his last leg. You don't know when he gonna pass away, so you need to get about that jam. You willing to do anything to see your family again. Trust me, I know. I know plenty of gangsters. They didn't want to do that time. I know a gangster was looking at five years, and he, talk, he thought about flipping. Maybe I can get it down two years. That's exactly what he told me. So I'm just here to say, man, it sounds good being a gangster. It sounds good having the notoriety. It sounds good when the streets fear you, when you put in that work. But the moment the indictments come, be ready for everybody to turn on you. Be ready for the judge to, to throw the book at you. Make you bigger than life. And that's what's going to happen to Lil Dirt. I'm sorry to say. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on this whole situation. But I wonder how you guys feel about it. Do you think there will be a BD versus GD and Rico? Or do you think the internet is just capping? Let me know in the comment section. I love you guys. Peace.